What's up, my friends? This is the last uh, Webflow tutorial video that we're going to be doing for a while, but this is not the last Webflow we'll be talking about. I actually, uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be on the Webflow broadcast uh, stream. And then later on this week, I'm gonna publish a tour of the Webflow office, which is gonna be really fun. But let's just jump into today's activities. We were continuing on with the uh, development of the podcast website. Today, we're gonna to be looking at how to uh, finish up those last three segments, and that includes importing a, uh, uh, importing a content stream, a, a feed, an Instagram feed into your Webflow project. Thank you for subscribing and watching and commenting on all the Webflow videos so far. Far, I've sent a uh, Webflow Pro uh, coupon to the next winner, and if you want to win the next one, the last one, this video's one, then leave a comment on the video, be a subscriber, and then fill out the form, which is the link in the description, and that form is just so I can know who to email it to once I choose the winner. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so we've done the header here and the navigation and the about the two dudes in the cantina, section one, two, and three. Now we're gonna jump down here and do this next section, number four. Want a shirt or a sticker? Get one. <laughs> and Lowe's just put uh, big old squares, and I guess he means these are screenshots of stickers. So lucky for him, I went out and found some cool dribble shots of stickers and t-shirts and so forth, even though we don't have any stickers and shirts ready. <laughs> Uh, but we're gonna do it anyway. So this is gonna be a pretty simple one. I'm just gonna go in here again and take that first one. Oh cool, this scrolls to it when you click on it. That's kind of cool. And I'm going to hold option and drag down to the bottom. And I'll click that one. Okay, so we're in the bottom and let's get rid of this video. We don't need it. And I'm gonna get rid of the, one of these paragraphs, get rid of that. Do we have a button under these things? We don't. So I can get rid of the button. And so basically we have a, a heading and a paragraph. Want a shirt or a sticker? Question mark, get one. And it was number four, right? Number four. Want a shirt or a sticker? Get one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, now these squares. The first thing we're gonna do is, because I already have these images here, I'm gonna basically upload them, Just upload them right here. Upload, desktop, all four, done. And then, now they're in like a grid here, I'm gonna go and grab some columns and put them after this paragraph. And the columns are gonna be two, which is good. And then I'm gonna put a, well, I guess I could just drag these things in, right? You, I could do this. I could bring a, um, or is it an image in like this? Image inside, right? Yeah. And then from there, like you just like block things out and stuff like that with the images. Why am I hitting that thing? Let's go away, there you go. Uh, and then after that you drop the, actual image on top of it. I think, oh, it didn't. Did I, let me delete that. I don't think I did that right. Let me see. Drag the image on top of this thing. Replace image. No, I have no idea. Double click that, replace image. Okay, asset manager, the button. Okay, so. <laughs> Uh, it's easier just to drag these things in, but if you wanted to do the replace, let me show you how to do that again. So you can you can block things out with images if you don't have your images ready. Drop an image in there, and then when you're ready, you just come back to it and give it a little, good old double click and replace the image. You can upload straight from there or go to the asset manager and it just like highlights over here. And I'll click this sticker. Good, and then the other way is just to go over to the asset manager and drag out this banana t-shirt because you know how we do about bananas. Actually, don't like bananas. So I wanna add a class to the images and we'll say um, merch-image. That's what the thing's gonna be. And margin bottom 40, does that look normal? No, what is this? This looks like about 
Oh, yeah, 20. 20, man. Cool. And so I need to put a class on this as merch image. And these guys have merch image too. Merch image. Okay, so all four of these are merch image. Let's go to tablet and see how these things block out. That's fine. And yeah, they, so they start snapping into a single column at the phone horizontal, phone landscape setting. And then in, yeah, they look good like that. Cool. So uh, Lowe's design had borders around them. They look, let me get a, a measuring here. So people ask me all the time, how do I get this measuring block? Well, actually, this is a hack. It's a screenshot. That's not actually for measuring. But it does give you like the little numbers when you're screenshotting things. And in, in Mac OS X, you just press Command Shift Four, and then there you go. Hit Spacebar, you get this camera, and that screenshots whatever window you're looking at. But if you hit Spacebar again, you go back to this little crosshairs. And I put the mouse on that, and then I just image, drag, and measure how how big this thing is. And right now, it's 10, 10 pixels, obviously. So let's go back to Merge Image, and the border is going to be width of 10 pixels. And I'm going to pick that perp. Pick that perp right there. Actually, I like the green. Now we're going to do the perp. Uh, the reason we're going to do the perp is because we want to look at this um, this, uh, this class here of merch image and see kind of how we're handling that. Because what we want to do is get every other merch image Oh, that's weird. Why is it not centered? Uh, merch column. I'll just do text center. Requires a width. Oh, that's interesting. Um, well, we'll just, you know, do that. Oh, you know what we actually would be better than that? Is if we did to merge image and said max width was one. Let's do width is 100%. Oh, 24. There, now when we scrunch it or squeeze it, it kind of, the image uh, grows to what we want. Cool, so let's go back to desktop view, and they look good. Uh oh that border that I put it on. Okay, let's go back. Let's get, <laughs> the thing about Webflow is when you make changes, make sure you're in desktop if they're, if they're supposed to be like, changes that go wide, you know? So let me get rid of this border again because this is all only applying to when it's in this width. Now, because it's not mobile first, it's like desktop first, let me click on the merge image and then add the borders. 10 in the perp, all right. And the width, merge image, let's make the width 100%. There we go. So now when we go into smaller views, they'll actually be what we wanted the whole time, not only in the smaller views, because it's desktop first. I keep on forgetting that. Huh. Okay, so uh, notice that half of these are green and they alternate. So like basically the evens are green, uh, but we'll just do that another time, similar to how we did these ones here. They're not gonna show up in the design phase anyway. Oh, you know what we need to do? These are supposed to be links. They're not links right now. Like if I go in here, I cannot click these. These are just static images. So we need to make these links. Let's grab uh, a link block. So we have text link here. And if you drag this text link into here, it's just gonna be like this. Yeah. You can't like stick an image in that. I'm gonna delete that. And then grab a link block and put it right there. And then grab that image and stick it inside of the link block. So that way, the uh, see the link block right there. Now, if I put like here, I could put you know uh, Google.com, and it'll go to the site of the store wherever we make that store whenever we make that store. So I need to put these all in link blocks. So grab a link block. Everyone, everyone gets a link block. You get a link block. And you get a link block down here, buddy. Grab this banana shirt, put it in a link block. So that we can, all of them have, you know, be in links. 
link block. Link block. You go in the link block. Good. So that looks pretty done. I mean, apart from the apart from the colors being all colorful. Okay, so yeah, we make things on Instagram. <laughs> These headlines just kill me. They're so funny. Okay, so what do we need for this? We need the same thing, right? A headline, paragraph, and then like a feed of a feed of Instagram things. So let's just dupe what we got right uh, here. I'm going to hold Option and pull it down and click on it. And the, the headline is, yeah, we make things on Instagram. Okay, so five. Yeah, we make we ham, we make things on Instagram. Um, and there's a the paragraph, and then basically we just need to get rid of these merch columns there. Okay, the paragraph. Now, how does Webflow import an Instagram feed? Truthfully, I don't know. And I Googled it a little bit, nobody knows. So what we're gonna do is I have prepared this service called Juicer. And Juicer lets you have one feed for free and, and check that out. We did, that's that's uh, Aaron uh, Draplin right there. That's me and that's Los. And this is Helen and she did an awesome podca podcast. Andy, Guy Kawasaki, oh my gosh, look at these two handsome boys. Okay, so let's go and get the embed in your site script. And copy this. I'm going to press Command C, and then I'm going to go over here to the. There's like an embed, embed, embed. There we are. Embed, and drag it out. Put it in. Paste it. Save. All right. This script will uh, embed will only appear on the published exported site. So this is probably done. I'm not sure, <laughs> but it's probably done. Let's publish. Let's, how do you publish? Oh, so publish selected domains. Okay, now let's go check it out. Make sure that that embed looks good. All right, two dudes in a cantina. Scroll down, shirt, sticker, looks good. And here's our embeds. This looks good. I mean, it looks, it looks okay. It's certainly not the way I would have designed it. Oh, and there's an ad <laughs> right in the middle of my feed. Oh, well. I wonder if Juicer lets me like feed settings, feed style, image grid. Yes. Tell me more. Tell me more. Um, is there padding? White? That's nice, but I want classic. Ooh, weird. Okay. Anyway, you can basically mess around with that. Let me see the image grid. Okay. I wonder if it changes. Does it change here if I change uh, what it was? So refresh, scroll down, powered by Juicy. Oh, it does immediately. It looks a lot better that way. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. But it doesn't matter. Um, this is not about Juicer. This is about Webflow. So that was an easy fix for importing, you know, feeds onto Webflow. And the next thing we gotta do is just bam, this is a footer. And then we're done. We're done with this website. It's so fast. Webflow is fast. Okay. So we actually already have a footer. I made it down here a while ago so that I could have a footer to like just basically bump this up because this was like as far as I could scroll in here. I was like, I like to scroll past things. So here's my footer. We need to make it purple and put a link in it. That's kind of easy. So I'll put um, this container into it, into the footer. And in that container, I'll put a, I'll put a text block. Did I do it right? Okay. But I don't see anything. Can I type in there? Okay. Oh, contact is what I wrote, but it's white. Let me get that footer back. Background footer. Let's make it perp. Make it purple. And let's put some padding on this footer. What do we got here? Uh, about, is that about 50? Let's do 
uh, hold shift. No, I don't want to hold shift, command Z. I'm going to hold option so I can do my top and bottoms at the same time. And we want to do about 50, 50 padding. Boop. Okay, contact, cool. Uh, contact is going to be uh, trav, uh, not is, trav and los at gmail.com. And this is actually going to be a link. So let's make it a link. Oh, good, 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 good. And let's make it, let's give this, this link a name. We'll call it footer link link. And we want to give it a color of, where are you? That thing. Oh, and it looks good. Okay, cool. So contact us, or email is what he said. And that's fine. And I'm not going to do that because, um, I don't know. Cool. Actually, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's publish it again. Do the publish button. Take a look at it. If you guys want to see what it looks like, you can visit latenights.webflow.io. I think that's live to the public. And come down here and check it out. It looks pretty good. I like it. Now, I'll definitely have to fit fix a few you know links uh los and i need to do a little bit on this content we need to work on this content a little bit of course and you know fix the links and all but overall like was able to make a quick website uh, that looked exactly like what los wanted it and i'm pretty happy with it thanks for watching this entire series you're amazing you're you're pretty much amazing did you know that uh we are done so stay tuned uh for the stream that's going to be happening on webflow's stream i'm going to be visiting there and also later on in the week i'm going to release a video which is a tour of the webflows uh, office space and also a chat with them that i recorded before i even started this whole project so it's been a really fun ride and thank you for watching and we'll see you next week when we do something entirely different